after the show. Out of the dark, someone emerged and came to me and told me, I was feeling sad until I heard your voice. That person, like so many other audience members, after 20 plus years of singing on three different continents, that person in an audience just like you helped me understand that to stand up here is a privilege and it is an honor and it brings responsibility. And that responsibility is the impact that we have on people's lives and what remains with them long after we're gone. As a singer and a songwriter, for me, what remains with people is the chorus. Coming from the ancient Greek theater tradition, the chorus was a group of people who danced and sung and spoke in unison as one, summarizing the main points of the play so that the audience could follow along. In a song, it is what ties the verses together and gives the big idea of the song. And I really do believe in life that the chorus is what in our lives can connect the dots to create order out of chaos, to create meaning and purpose. It will get you out of bed in the morning, keep you up at night, and it will define and refine what is a day well spent and a life well lived. If your life were the song that you are meant to sing, what would the chorus of your life be? From my experience writing with Yaku, I offer you four tools. To listen, record, refine, repeat. First, you listen. You listen to the soundtrack of your life. There is music all around us, and because of all the sounds around us, we lose track of the beat of our own heart and the rhythm of our own life and the songs in the key of life that we have inside of us. You listen to what is on repeat that you know for sure that never gets old despite the decades and across the continents. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Those words that I sang from this high still provide me warmth and guidance. It encourages me to shine, and it urges me never to diminish my light, regardless of how very small it is. We are taught as children to sing other people's songs. And for that reason, we ask ourselves, who am I to raise my voice and to speak up and to speak out? But after singing enough of other people's songs, you start to develop your own style from your own stories and your own experiences and your own feelings. And when you start to hear those welling up inside of you, go to step number two, record. Get it out of your being, out of your heart, and out of your mind. I say for me, it's like it comes to me and through me. The Shakespeare of our time, Nobel laureate, 
writer of 500 songs recorded by 2,000 people, Bob Dylan says, it's not me. It's the song. I'm just the postman. I deliver the songs. Once you've got it, your message, then what you want to do is the third step. You want to refine. What impact do you want to create? What feeling, what experience, what message do you want people to take away? And from that, follow Michelangelo's advice. He says, I had a vision of David, and I simply carved away everything that was not David. He encourages us, saying, said, the idea is there, locked inside. You simply have to carve away the excess stone. How will you know when you're finished crafting? That brings us to the fourth step, repeat. You don't sing the song. The song sings you. When you understand the words that my voice teacher told me, you will understand that when you craft the song, the song begins to craft you. The chorus of your life will craft you so that it determines the words that you say, the attitude that you bring, the behavior that you have, the actions that you take and they will order your steps. And when you have crafted the chorus of your life and the chorus of your life begins to craft you, your light will shine so clearly and so brightly that other people will join your chorus and add their voices, singing in unison with you in their words and their deeds, in the locker room, in the boardroom, and in the classroom so that as your chorus speaks, sings, dances, whatever your medium, whatever your canvas, that you shine for the teams you are on and the organizations you serve and the communities in which you live. Four tools to listen, to record, refine, and repeat four tools to craft the chorus of your life. The chorus of your life is you shining out into the world. The chorus of your life is the wisdom of life sung through you. The chorus of your life is an idea worth sharing. The chorus of your life is your idea worth sharing again and again and again in the different stages of your life and on the different stages of your life. Pablo Picasso said, the meaning of life is to find your gift. The purpose of life is to give it away. I don't know what your gift is. Like the old gospel song says, I don't know what you come to do. But for those who need your chorus, TEDx Unip, I hope you get what you came here for. I'm gone.